Hello everybody, and today we're going to be talking about naming acids. So, naming acids are a little unique. This is something you have not done before, but you've probably seen some of the names before. So, an acid is something with a hydrogen in front of the formula. Water is kind of an exception to that. Water is not considered an acid, but many other formulas have hydrogen in the front. And that hydrogen is a plus one charge, so that means that it's going to be bonded with something that is negatively charged. That something could be just one atom, like a chloride ion, just a Cl, or it could be a polyatomic ion. And we're going to talk about both situations for naming right now. So a binary acid is considered to be an acid that is hydrogen in just one other element, something like HCl. Some examples. We have HF hydrofluoric. So notice what that looks like for naming. We have hydro is always the beginning of the name. And then the root from the ion it is attached to. This is the fluor hide ion. So the root is fluor. So there's your root and then ic acid. So hydrofluoric acid. The next one on your sheet is hydriotic acid. So the iotic is coming from the iodide ion. So it's HI. I is 1 minus. H is 1 plus. So that is why there's just one of each. So plus 1, minus 1. The iodine, the hydrogen, so there's just one of each. So it's kind of a mixture of the two because as we talked about before with our lab, hydrogens and fluorines and hydrogen and iodines, these are all non-metals, but hydrogen acts like a metal because it makes a positive one charge. So we have a positive one and a negative one here. What about the next one? The next one is H2S. So it's just hydrogen and one other element, but that other element is sulfur. Again, because it's just hydrogen and one other element, it has the hydro root, has the sulfur, and this time instead of being hydrosulfic, like you might think, the whole name sulfur is kind of an exception. We'll see another one like that on the, on the next uh, slide. Um, kind of an exception there where it gets the whole, whole name and then ic acid. So whenever it's hydro, it is going to be hydrogen and one other element with a couple exceptions that situation. An exception would be something like HCN. If you look on your green sheet, CN is cyanide. All right, it's an ide. So any of these that end in ide would be named this way because this is fluoride, this is iodide, this is sulfide ion right here. Ide. These are all ide ions. So HCN would be hydro cyanide acid, or, sorry about that, cyanic acid, because it's a cyanide ion, it becomes hydrocyanic acid. So there is one, I mean, there's very few exceptions to it, but typically if it's hydro, something, ic acid, whenever there's hydro in front of it, that means that you have a hydrogen and just one other element in most cases. So hydro indicates it's a binary acid. So there's other types of acids out there. So that's this binary acid. Probably the most common that you've heard of is a binary acid, like HCl. That would be hydrochloric acid. It's a hydro because it's just H and one other element. It's a chloride ion. So it's the, you get the root from the chloride ion and then the ic acid, hydrochloric. All right, what about other types of acids? Well, there's a thing called oxy acids. Oxy acids don't just have hydrogen one other element, but hydrogen oxygen and typically one other element. It can be more than one, but typically just oxygen and one other element. The name totally depends on the anion. All right, we talked about in class how most of these anions that are not ides end in or eight. So let's talk about those possibilities. So if the 
anion is an 8, the acids would become an 6 acid. Remember, acids are just anions, negatively charged ions, with hydrogens bonded to them, because hydrogens are positively charged. So an example. So in this case, this is the nitrate ion. That is one of them that you are going to memorize. The nitrate ion is NO3, and it's a minus 1. Since it's a minus 1, we need a plus 1 hydrogen to balance it, to neutralize it, and the name of it is nitric acid. So 8 becomes ick. Students a couple years ago said, hey, it's like you ate something icky. So 8, ick. You ate something icky. So if the anion that we started with, in this case nitrate, is an 8, then it, the, the name of the acid when you add a hydrogen to it is nitric acid. If you look on your green sheet, we'll look at this one. CLO3. That would be the chlorate. That's an anion. So that's chlorate. Since it's 8, it's going to become ick, and it's chloric acid. So whenever it's an 8, it becomes ick. Or if you look on your green sheet, you have lots of 8s. Chlorate, perchlorate, bicarbonate, uh, bromate, iodate, chromate, dichromate, tartarate, uh, plus the ones you're memorizing, nitrate, phosphate, sulfate, carbonate. There's a lot of 8s. All of those things, if you add hydrogen to them, will become an ick acid. All right. Well, the other, most of the other ions are an ite. So if it's an ite, the acid's name will be called a acid. So let's look at some examples of that. Now, nitrite is, H, is NO2. That's on your green sheet. Nitrate is one you're memorizing. So NO2 is the nitrite ion. Notice that ice has one less oxygen than the 8. That is always the case. If you look on your green sheet, chlorite is ClO2, chlorate is ClO3. So it has one less oxygen, so it's NO2 ion. And when I add a hydrogen to the front of that, it is called nitrous acid. Let's look at this example. This is the hypo chloride ion. And this will be called hypo. Not to be confused with hydro. Hypochlorite is just the name of this ion. It is not a binary acid. It is the hypochlorous acid. So it all depends on the anion that they are attached to. You could have an 8, you can have an ite. If it's binary, you have an us acid. I would like you to put four practice problems on your sheet and bring these to class. And they are carbonic acid. Hydro bromic acid. So for those two, I want you to come up with the name. And I'm going to give you two, or the formula, sorry. I'll give, I want you to come up with the formulas for those. And I want to give you two where I would like you to come up with the names of them. So it's H2, C4, H4, O6, and H I O three. So you're gonna have to look at the rules we just came up with. This ends in an ick. This has a hydro and an ick. You're gonna have to look at what this anion name is and that this ion name is to determine what the name of the acid will be. So bring those to class. Have a good night.